Hi, this is Heath with Final Drive Parts again. I just wanted to show you what happens with a common problem on mini excavator track drives, final drives, or planetary drive motors. One of the most common problems we get in the shop is, as you can see from this array of parts here on the table, that you get a leak behind your sprocket. In between your sprocket and the back side of your drive, it'll be leaking some thick fluid or some runny fluid. Well, I wanted to go over what that common problem is. Well, that's this seal right here. This is known as a floating face seal. Now this seal sits like this against this hub and that's all that holds the bearing oil in the front of your drive. So if you have a leak from this general area behind the sprocket, that's where the sprocket would be, behind the sprocket, this is probably your culprit. And what that happens from is just these, these seals are hour rated. For one, you might be over your hours or two, you might have been going through some sludge some real boggy stuff and got some dirt and stuff slammed in to the, uh, into where the seal area is causing it to offset the seal. Well commonly with most general managers, uh, GMs or just owner operators, common thing to do is just keep topping off the drive. Well you don't want to do that and I'm about to show you why because you, when that seal fails and does start leaking it lets dirt and debris inside the housing of that drive within mixes with the gear oil and turns into various disgusting sludges as you'll see now. This is a gear from a drive where the face seal had failed and the dirt had got in here and mixed in with the oil. As you can see, you don't want that in your drive. That's not lubing the bearings and that's gonna cause it to fail. As you can see, this drive has already experienced some various failures of the bearings because of the sludge mixture. And now he's out with a costly repair. So if in the, in the, in the beginning, if he would have just went ahead pulled this machine out of service, sent us a drive in, quick two, three day turnaround on this and he's been back in operation. So don't wait till you're in the middle of your biggest job to think about fixing the excavator because you know it's gonna go out on you when you least expect it. So if it's leaking from there, go ahead and send it in and have it evaluated and repaired before you start losing too much money.